everyone welcome to virtualbrigade.com in my previous video I have explained about the logical switching so wherein uh, we have created multiple logical switches and then we have connected the vSphere virtual machines and the KVM virtual machines to the logical switches and I have also explained about how to verify the logical switches from the NSX command line in this particular video I will explain uh, the tunneling basics so what is tunneling what is the tunneling protocol that we use in NSXT and we will also verify the tunneling from the NSX uh, command line. So with that, let's get started. So the tunneling is the basis for implementing the overlay networks. So uh, for any network virtualization, uh, tunneling is the basis in order to implement uh, the overlay networks. So it is basically used to implement the isolation between your physical and the virtual machine workloads. So it is basically used to implement the isolation between the physical and the virtual networks. The tunnels are being set up between the VTAP devices and is similar to running a wire between the VTAP to VTAP. So in the previous video we have seen how to create the ESX host and uh, how to configure the ESXi host as a fabric node. The, when you create the fabric node, the NSX manager is going to install few bundles on the ESXi hypervisor and the KVM hypervisor. And when we promote the ESXi host or the KVM host as the transport node, the tunnel is being established. The tunnels are being established between each and every transport node between the uh, transport nodes. So we have the tunnels being established. The ESX04A has been established a tunnel with KVM02A, KVM05A and the KV KVM01A. So the tunnel is being established between each and every transport node. So ESX04A has uh, the tunnel with every other node that is being configured in the uh, transport zone. So VTAP in NSXT is the virtual tunnel endpoint. So when we, when we are referring to the VTAP device, it is nothing but a virtual tunnel endpoint. When we configure the ESXi host in the uh, as a transport node, each and every ESXi host and the KVM host is a tunnel endpoint where the uh, so the packets from the VMs get encapsulated with the tunnel header before pushed through the tunnel. So if the virtual machine Web01A running on ESX04A wants to communicate with the virtual machine running on the KVM02A hypervisor, the source tunnel endpoint, the ESX04A will encapsulate the packet with the Geneve header and will send the packet to the destination ESXi host or the KVM host where the destination uh, uh, tunnel endpoint will uh, de-encapsulate the Geneve header and it will send the packet directly to the virtual machine. So the packet from the source is uh, uh, the packet from the source is uh, encapsulated and the, once the packet is received at the destination uh, host, the destination tap device is going to de-encapsulate the packet and it will send the packet directly to the virtual machine. So uh, the health check uh, traffic also flows through the tunnel. So when we are configuring the BFD, the bidirectional uh, forwarding detection uh, is also the uh, the traffic of the BFD also flows through the tunnel to check the health status of your tunnel endpoints. In NSXV, we used to use the VXLAN as the overlay uh, protocol wherein uh, all the packets that are be that are transferred between the hypervisors are encapsulated with the VXLAN header and the destination ESX host uh, is going to de-encapsulate the packet and it will send it to the destination virtual machine. But in NSXT we use the Geneva as an encapsulation mechanism so the source hypervisor is going to encapsulate the packet with the Geneva header. The destination ESX host or the KVM host is going to de-encapsulate the packet and it will send that particular packet directly to the virtual machine. So the Geneva runs on top of the UDP protocol. So we are using the UDP to follow. Uh, we are using the Geneva on top of the UDP. This particular protocol is developed by VMware, uh, VMware, Microsoft, uh, Red Hat and Intel organizations. So they are came collectively uh, developed this particular protocol uh, called uh, Geneve and it uses the port number 6081 so this is the port number that the Geneve uses and uh, the more uh, the most uh, known uh, uh, packet analyzers like Wireshark and the TCP dumps basically understand the Geneve and you can also offload the capabilities to the physical network cards so the hardware capabilities are possible with the 
with the VSPR 6.5 and the KVM hypervisor. So the KVM hypervisor 16.04 uh, understands Geneve and the VSPR 6.5 uh, if you want to offload the pack capabilities uh, to the physical network cards that is supported with the vSphere version 6.5. So this is about Geni. So there has been a lot of tunneling protocols wherein uh, VXLAN is the tunneling mechanism that is being used in NSXV. STT was used in NSXT 1.0 and NVGRE is also uh, used in the uh, network virtualization and in NSXT 2.0 we have been using the Geneve encapsulation mechanism to in, to encapsulate the packet uh, when the packet is leaving the hypervisor the destination hypervisor will uh, de-encapsulate the packet and each uh, transport node is the tunnel uh, endpoint. In my next video I'll explain uh, the Geneve frame. I thank you for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.